Hey guys, it's October 1st, so it's the official kickoff of Vlogtober. I don't have any content planned, but I'm just gonna wing it. And I don't think I'll be editing because I don't have time for all that nonsense. But I thought I would show you guys something that I have for breakfast. It's pretty easy to make. I pre-boil eggs or have somebody else pre-boil my eggs for me. And then I just gotta get up in the morning and put these things together. If I can get you guys stood up here. Good enough to where I can show you. I don't know if I have enough counter space here because of course everything is in the way. There we go, you can kind of see right there. Oh cool. So I take two hard boiled eggs. Slice it in half, an avocado. I have two halves here because I wanted to make an equal amount. Also a hack, I don't know if you know it or not, but if you leave your seed in your avocado, it won't turn black. And the same with your guacamole. It slows down the process. <laughs> I learned that from Emma. I'm a Cali girl. That's a half breed. Um, so I love avocados and this just works out great. Just slice this. I needed to use these avocados cause they've been in there a little too long. Shopping for organic shit is a struggle. It goes bad so quickly. I know you can store these in water, as with a lot of produce, and it keeps them from ripening. But I just don't have room in my fridge for a large water container. Okay, so next I mash all this together. The egg yolks get all powdery. And then I mash the avocado in with that. Okay, how about somewhat ready? Let me slice the, the whites. And now I'm going to mix this in with here. If you're not a fan of big whites, you don't have to use a bowl spoon, you don't have to use a bowl whatever. Or you can make them out. I just like that it gives me a little different texture. I don't eat eggs frequently enough to worry about the health problems. So then again, just mash it. And then I take, I'm using the last two out of that package. Let me get a new package so I can show you. These everything but the bay roll rice cakes. You can salt and pepper this or add, you know, hot sauce or truffle hot sauce or sriracha. Or that um, chipotle mayo, if you want to. But I think this is plenty of flavor for me, and I try not to take in extra calories or anything like that because um, this is, I want my food to be nutritious and healthy more than I do flavorful. But this is really good, and I'm not a big fan of sodium, but these rice cakes add a little bit of that salty flavor. Let me grab another plate. Not fine, China. So this breakfast is high in protein. It'll keep you full for a long time. If you only want to do half of the serving, just one egg, one avocado, or half of avocado, sorry.
There we go. And that is my breakfast. Also, good for lunch. That as well. Just in case I don't add to this video, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you tomorrow. This is a lunch on a different day. I would never have like a third egg, but this is typically what I do. These little snacks are prosciutto wrapped around mozzarella cheese. I usually have about two or three of those and some sort of vegetable. I have baby corns or grape tomatoes with hummus or celery with um, whipped cream cheese for lunch. But usually some sort of protein and vegetables on the side is what I do. Whatever's quick and easy. Get some steaks and some lobster tail. I'm so